Santa Brick car with the Prague Grand Endurance Championship. Um, lovely day at Silverstone, so the sun's out, which makes it even better. I've just been out for practice, and we're currently P1, so um, yeah, all been for the first outing this morning. Um, got Polly in about a couple of hours, so hopefully we'll retain the P1 position for race one. out there but the um, board is out now so hopefully we can get pole position for our first race. What you got there? P1. Alright. P1 in Collie. Starting on the front row. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Nice. Praga in P3 had a really good run, I uh, managed to get past and then Abby went to retake the position at turn 3 and uh, was turned into and the damage is quite substantial so guys are looking to get the car back out but certainly not the start that we wanted um, but we'll look at it after the race. I was I was in the corner already, and he turned in, and I'm like, yeah, hey, I what mean, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, frustrating start to the race. So um, it didn't need to happen, but that's racing. <laughs> Um, the Prago that I'm going to be racing this year. Um, put some Go Faster stripes in it last night, so we've got some Tristy fluorescent yellow, which the guys that know me know that that's my kind of trademark colour if you like. Um, interior of the cockpit, it's all um, carbon fibre monocoque, so you're literally surrounded in a sea of carbon. Doors that open up upwards, it looks quite cool, like wings. Um, Formula Renault engine in the back as well. Um, it's basically like a single seater with a bit of a, a nice body kit on top of it, so um, super fast, really light. Um, the, the performance we're getting out of it is, is huge, and we're not even using it for the full engine capacity yet either. So how it's being kind of BOP'd with the balance of performance, we've got to run it in map two, but it's actually got map three, which is getting uh, even faster. But um, yeah, can't can't play with that unfortunately in this championship. Um, but yeah, I've got some sponsors on the car as well. So we've got MAS Motorsport who. Um, they look after all my motorsport insurance and um, personal accident stuff as well. Hycolin, a uh, new sponsor for this year, so they uh, provide cleaning solutions, so hygiene products and bits and bobs like that. And then Gordy, my teammate, has got stickers all over the car, but all in all, she looks very racy.
just come in after my stint, so had a really good first lap, managed to get a bunch of places off the line, and then unfortunately there was quite a big crash um, through turn two, so the full period was under safety car, so my job was basically to keep the tyres nice and hot for when Gordy jumped in the car pretty much, so frustrated I didn't get any, any green running, um, but Gordy's currently out there hunting, hunting the pack down, so hopefully we'll come home with P1. So end of the weekend, um, coming away with some trophies, so uh, managed to get first position in the last race there. Um, overall, I think you know probably ups and downs of motorsport. You know, race one with a little bit of contact and um, not finishing where we should be, very frustrating. Um, but then race two to be able to come back with a win is absolutely amazing. So I think. You know, we're a very strong pairing together and I think through the rest of the season we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. We've only got a week to go and then we're back at SNAP. So it's looking like a very exciting season ahead. <laughs>